Our next guest is the founder of Sweetwater Dance and Yoga. It's a, it's a beautiful studio, and it's here in the Bronx, right in the community, and here to talk about uh, how yoga can help with stress. The upcoming, you know, with the holidays and everything, we spoke about it earlier, with the holidays around, we have Yasada Chu Trujillo. Trujillo. Yes. Thank so you. Let me say it. Yosara Trujillo. That's right. Yosara Trujillo. Thank you. All right, so you, you're, in, you're inspired to, you were inspired to start the Sweetwater Dance and Yoga Company. I was. How did you get involved? So, uh, just the short and dirty. Um, my, I graduated law school in 2011, pregnant with my first son, who's oh. here today. Yeah, and you had a lot going on. I had a lot Law. going on. So after I, I came home and gave birth to my son, I was trying to get my brain ready for studying for the bar. And I did that with yoga. Um, I decided I had like extra space and extra office space. So I decided yeah. that I would have a yoga instructor come in and I wow. wound up kind of starting just a little yoga studio impromptu and it kicked off. I was right by the courts. I was in my community and judges and magistrates kind of yes. found out about us. They started coming in and telling us how great it would be to have a yoga studio in the area. Mm -hmm. And you know, the seed just grew from there and serendipity had what it had and things just uh. un rolled out. And two years later, we opened up Sweetwater Dance and Yoga. There you go. I had a crazy day in court. Let me go over and do some dance and burn yeah. up some energy and get my yoga on. That's right. Um, so there's a lot of stress just in that area in general. All the Bronx courts are there, the Hall of Justice. Um, you know, we are in the Bronx everywhere, right? We're very hardworking people. Everybody's on the proverbial hustle. Yeah. And it's important mm -hmm. for us to connect with wellness. Um, part of our mission at Sweetwater is to kind of make wellness mundane we want to disrupt the assumption that wellness belongs to the wealthy or privileged or even the slim if yeah. you're breathing if you eat and wake up and live every day wellness is yours and it's something that should be very mundane and should become part of our lives yeah. right. how does it start what do we do um you do with deciding that you I'm coming want out of to some chaotic feel crap you know and i want to just bump it down what do I do? You go to your body, you bring it down to the basics, you breathe, you take a quick walk and clear your head and don't think about anything but this breath coming into your body, this breath that you're feeling. Um, take more time for yourself. Um, go to your local yoga studio. Yeah, because you need an instructor. You because do. Because a lot of people hear about yoga That's and they right. say, well, what, you know. Right. For do the I most get the part, custard or do I get the Columbia? That's right. Um, so it has felt it. it has felt inaccessible to our community for a long time, mostly because it's been made part of you know uh, commodity. Yeah. But um, but no, you go to a local yoga studio, you find yourself a yoga class. Um, I would always suggest if it's your first time starting out with a hatha class, it's a nice basic a hatha? hatha class. H a t h a. Yes. Um, it's basically your basic, most traditional, fundamental yoga. It's not going too fast. It's not doing anything crazy. It's a wonderful way for you to start. And what it's going to do is it's going to create space between your, you know, your, where you're at and what's happening in the outside world and create a little bit of space between you and your reactions. And that's going to allow you to take a breather, to make better decisions, to give yourself some mindfulness. Like that's the catchphrase right yeah. now that everybody's talking about is mindfulness. Yeah. And mindfulness is key. What's and the significance of praying and yoga? How, how does that mix? So yoga is, um, the, the definition of it um, in Sanskrit is, right, the union of body and mind. And any time that you take a moment to breathe, uh, it unifies your body and mind. If you're paying attention to your breath, you've unified your body and your mind. Prayer is just another way that people use that mindfulness, use that moment to connect to something higher, whatever that higher thing is for them. For some it's God, for some it's the universe, for whatever it is, right? So yours is a, um Om sweet water dance and yoga. Omi, like homie. Yeah, so we're from What's the Bronx. Up, What's up, homie? And we call ourselves Omis. Omi. We like to um, bring together the concept of 
being a, a vehicle or a medium for peace and for um, mindfulness and wellness and you know still honoring our Bronx history um, in fact we do that a lot a lot yeah. of our classes make sure that we tip our hat to Bronx history which includes hip-hop includes salsa they both feature very pro uh, uh -huh. prominently on yeah. our schedule and um, we like to incorporate it in every way we can. We like to prop the Bronx in every way we can. But there's can. a sound that goes along with the omi and homie. Omi, yes. So in yoga, you om. You om. You om. You, you om say up. om, right? So you've got to put your hands together. That's right. And you breathe. Om. om. I have just become an omi. And it does something it's a very um a very important sound and actually yeah. has a physical vibration and a physical I mean, impact on us the air and letting the air out and that that feeling that comes yeah. with the, mm, no. there's something to it there is something to it you should come check it Some out vibration going that's along right with it too. that's right this is not you know it's not it's not um it's not a mental thing that's the beautiful thing about yoga is that it 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 brings it down to everyone it doesn't matter what you're intellectually capable of accessing mm -hmm. it's about the physical experience it's about creating mindfulness for yourself and self-care and experiencing yourself from oh, this body that's beautiful yeah beautiful. that's a good feeling right? it is a good feeling and we deserve that good feeling here in the bronx we're hard-working people we deal with a lot how we does it get rid of stress ah oh, it does everything for stress so some people people are different some people need um, a very relaxing meditative type experience a slow moving experience some people need a super intense you know, Zumba level class in order to de-stress. Mm -hmm. But um, all of it um, is, the, the point is to basically give your body what it needs. And some of our bodies need um, a zenful yoga class, a meditation, some even need a restorative type class. Whereas other people need something a lot more intense to get to the same place. So the idea is to find what makes you feel different, uh, makes you feel more centered. Find where that place where you can make better decisions for yourself and move better. And that's going to go a long way towards giving you better holiday season. The holiday seasons are intrinsically stressful. Yeah. Where We've got timelines. We've got turkeys to cook. We've got food to make. We've yeah. got family turkeys coming to in. Deliver too. We've got family to be with <laughs> that we don't always, you know, yes. that we're not used to being with. Yeah. So family dynamics, right? And taking a moment for mindfulness, taking a break from it, or at least learning how to just take a breath and go within is going to make a As difference Steve for you. says, get your mind right. Get your mind right. Not only that, mind, body, and soul. Absolutely. In preparation for life. Absolutely. And for the holidays, you want to mm -hmm. enjoy your family. And that takes, yeah. that means taking care of you. Uh, you have a little bodyguard with you? I do have a little bodyguard with me. Prasad, how are you? <laughs> oh, he's being shy. That's, That's your okay. Five year old. He's my five year old. Yeah. He's awesome. He's a permanent fixture at the studio. <laughs> and anytime you want, he will be there to, you know. He's your Omi. He's my Omi. <laughs> my number one Omi. All right. Thank you so much. My Give pleasure. her a big round of applause, everybody. Thank you. Yosara Trujillo. Thank you. All right. I got it, right? Yeah, you did. <laughs> All right. Founder and head Omi Sweetwater Dance and Yoga. All right. Uh, that's about all for now.